to the Copper King Mine and Railroad. Today we're going to talk about Frogtown. It was just below Bingham and it was the first community you came to when you entered the canyon. So stay tuned. We got six trains running across these bridges right here. But today we're going to go up to Frogtown up in Bingham. It was in the lower part of Bingham. It's the first town you came up to before Bingham. This is all the further the train came up from the valley. The Denver Rio Grande came up here and stopped. So this is where the aerial trams came down to. We had a show on that. And then this is where uh, the Yampa Smelter was also. We'll show you some really neat pictures of the Yampa Smelter and the terminals of aerial trams. Now eventually this is where the two main tunnels from the mine came out. They exited here, the 6040 tunnel and also the 5840 tunnel. Now this is what the canyon looks like today. It's just all filled in. There's nothing here. This is all the further you can go up the, from Copperton. So let's take a look at these pictures of Frogtown. They have some really neat pictures here. This is a real early picture of it. There was a sawmill here at one time. This is where the canyon got a little wider. This is the only place in the canyon it did. Looking up the canyon. Now, like I said, this is where the train stopped from the valley. It only went this far. And then from here, you had to catch a wagon to get up into the mine area. You can see all the wagons and everything, the horses waiting for take the people from the train up. Here's an old 1907 map of it. You see there's a turntable right here and turn the motors around. Here's a map of the frog town going up the canyon. You see the little different areas right here. So it was the first little community you came to. Now we have the show on the aerial trams and this is where the terminal buildings came down where they this is where they ended up. They had four coming out of the mine at one time. Some great old pictures of these terminal buildings right here in this area. And then also it was the home of the Yampa Smelter. Here's some great pictures of the Yampa Smelter. Boy, that must have been a mess to have a smelter right here with all this smoke and this filled this canyon. Some of these pictures are taken in 1908. The Yampa Smelter only lasted a few years. It, it was built in 1904, but then it only lasted till 1910. Here's an outside picture of it. This is a neat picture. You can see the terminal building from the aerial trim and then the Yampa Smelter to the left there in the background. Now look at this little trussle going over. This is from the Copper Belt Railroad. They had a smaller railroad that ran above Frogtown, delivered ore down to the Yampa Smelter and down to where the trains were to meet up with the Denver Rio Grand Western right there. So cool little pictures of the Frogtown area. This picture was taken in 1924. So over time, it, you know, the aerial trams went away and the Yamp Smelter course didn't last that long. And then here's some pictures of Frogtown later on. As the mine expanded and the pit started to form, they built some tunnels. And the first two tunnels exited right here, the 6040 and the 5840 tunnel. See, this picture shows both of them right here. And you can see the, ha the houses and the town developing around this area in these great old pictures. And like you say, here's a map. You can see where it's, it's kind of, the road kind of split off right here. And then also in 1941, they built these tunnels right here. And then they filled in around it. And this is to make the trains meet up with the B&G line 
You can see the old slag dump of the Yampa smelter still there in that picture. This was called the Cross Canyon Line. Then also this is where they, down a little further, is where they built the new shops in the mine. And So this was a busy little place right here. And, and Central Yards, this is where they had Central Yards. So let's show you some pictures of the community as it got older. Here's the old Royal Laundry. Hey, they had a car dealership here. Here's a car dealership and gas stations. And here's some really neat colored pictures of the area. And then, you know, when time went by and the mining operation was taken Bingham and it even got down this far and so this community just kind of started to fade away. This is a neat picture. You can see the still the old tunnels of one on the right there is for trains and the other one was for automobiles. That's a good view of it. You can see right there the Yampa slag dump. And this is the last picture I have of the Frogtown area. There's no more houses. This is 1975. So that was Frogtown.